Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be part 9 of my declutter series. This is obviously going to be decluttering lipsticks and I will be just going through the classic lipstick bullets, um, not like lip liquid lipsticks or anything like that. So just regular lipsticks today. I will leave a playlist linked below of all of the rest of my declutters, so if you'd like to check those out, there will be a link for that. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first one here is a MAC lipstick, and this is in the color Saint Germain. So I will be keeping this one. It is a really bright, cute pink. Next is another MAC in the shade Snob, and this was one of my favorites, and I really like this sort of a color, so I will be keeping that one. And then another MAC lipstick in the shade Candy Yum Yum, which is super bright and out there, but I really like this shade, and I'll be keeping that one. This is a NYX matte lipstick in the shade Shocking Pink. And let's put that next to Candy Yum Yum, and they're pretty similar, but obviously a little bit darker up here with the NYX shade. Um, I will be keeping this. I love these NYX lipsticks. This is a Jordana Modern Matte lipstick in the shade Matte Blush. That is what that one looks like. I am going to be keeping that one. Just to let you guys know, I will probably be keeping most of my lipsticks unless they smell bad or just don't swatch right anymore. Um, I'm not very picky when it comes to what shade of lipstick I'm wearing. I, I'm not the kind of person that is like, oh, I don't look good in reds or whatever. I just, I like any color of lipsticks really. So again, I will only be really getting rid of um, lipsticks that don't smell good or are terribly old or just don't swatch right. So let's go ahead and keep going. Then I have a City Color Matte Lipstick in the shade. And then I have a City Color Matte Lipstick and I'm not sure what shade this is called. I'm not seeing it anywhere on there, but this is the color. Um, and I think I think I'm going to get rid of this. It's swatching pretty patchy, so I am going to say goodbye to this one. Next I have a... This is a Maybelline Color Whisper in the shade Ooh La Lilac. And this is just kind of more of a balmy sort of lipstick, if you will, so I will be keeping that one. Another Maybelline Color Whisper in the shade Bare to be Bold, so just kind of a more nude, beigey color right here. I'll be keeping that one as well. And then I have a NYX High Voltage Lipstick in the shade Playdate. And I really liked these when they first came out. Super pretty color good pigmentation and I really like these so I'll be keeping that. Another high voltage lipstick in the shade Flawless and again I really like these so I will be keeping that one. Then I have a CoverGirl Outlast Longwear Moisture Lipstick and this is in the shade Red Revenge. Wow, that is very pretty. I need to set this aside to wear that more often. That's gorgeous. I will be keeping that. Another CoverGirl Outlast lipstick. This one is in the shade Phantom Pink. Really pretty pink shade here. There's kind of a theme going on here with these pinks. I will be keeping this one. Okay, next I have a matte creamy lipstick in the shade Eros, I would assume is what that one's called. And I really, really liked this lipstick. I got a lot of use out of this. This is more of a kind of blue brown or blue red. I will be keeping that one. 
And then there are a couple more of those NYX creamy lipsticks. This is in the shade Pure Nude. Super light, really pretty. I'm gonna keep that. And then this one in the shade T Rose. Really pretty shade. I will be keeping that one as well. And then these three are what's left up here. This is the uh, what is this called? Rimmel. The only one lipstick in the shade. It's a keeper. That is absolutely gorgeous. I will be keeping this. I need to set that aside as well and use that more. Then I have a Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade Wine Room. That is gorgeous as well. So I will be keeping that. And then the last one up here is another matte NYX lipstick. This is in the shade Butter. I believe that's what it's called, Butter. I am going to keep that. That is a unique color. Okay, so yay for me. I only decluttered one so far. <laughs> okay, let's move on down to the rest of my lipsticks. Okay, now in this drawer, um, I'm just, I think I'm just gonna start out here. So this is a Mark Matte Full Cover Lipstick. And this is a gorgeous color. Um, it is going on kind of patchy. Yikes. I'm gonna get rid of that. It's going on patchy. I don't wanna get rid of it because it's a beautiful color, but I think I should get rid of this because it's obviously gone bad. Next we have a CoverGirl lipstick in the shade Soulmate. So this is a very pretty color and I will be keeping this one. This is a uh, Maybelline lipstick in the shade Pink Pop. Ooh, that's pretty. More of those sort of pink tones, but I will be keeping that one. This is a Nick Butter lipstick in the shade Hunk, I guess is what you would call that shade. I really love these. I really love these butter lipsticks. They are really nice and I'm going to be keeping that. This is a lipstick from the lip bar in the shade Kiss Me. Really cool component that it's in. And this is the shade Kiss Me. Uh oh. I'm going to get rid of that. I've had it for a long time and it's obviously old so Dang, that was a pretty color, but I'm gonna get rid of it, uh, sadly. This is a, another Maybelline lipstick in the shade Blazonberry. I remember really liking this one. I have used quite a bit of it. And that is the color there. Really pretty sort of purple shade I will be keeping. This is a Milani lipstick in the shade Pink Love. I need to get some more use out of this. The Milani lipsticks are really great. And I will be keeping that. Another Maybelline lipstick. And this one is in the shade Nude Embrace. And I remember really enjoying this color as well. And I will be keeping that. That is very pretty. Then I have a Kat Von D studded lipstick in the shade Lolita absolutely beautiful we'll be keeping her love Kat Von D thank you very much this is a mark lip click in the shade vixen um I think I'm gonna get rid of this one too. It's kind of doing that same thing that the other MARC lipstick was doing. It is really patchy and kind of crumbly, so sadly I'll be getting rid of that one. 
Next I have a Rimmel Kate Lipstick. This is the lasting finish by Kate Lipstick in the shade Rosetto. And I used this quite a bit. I use this shade more for like mixing and making like other shades lighter. So I will be keeping this one. It's still really good. This is a CoverGirl lipstick in the shade Eternal. Very beautiful. I will be keeping that one. Another Milani lipstick in the shade Matte Passion. Oh, very beautiful. I will be keeping that one as well. And then I have another CoverGirl lipstick in the shade Seduce. It doesn't look like I have, wow, used this one very much, but that is beautiful. I will be keeping that one, and I'm going to set this out so that I can remember to play with it. Here is another Mark Lip Click in the shade Baby Love. Hopefully this one is good. This one is good. It's a really pretty sort of shimmery pink nude -ish shade, so I will be keeping that one. This is the Too Faced Peach Lipstick in the shade Sunday Fun Day. And I absolutely love these peach lipsticks from Too Faced, so I'll be keeping that. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous lipstick. Then I have a CoverGirl Star Wars collection lipstick. Um, this is in the shade 50, I guess. I don't see a name anywhere, but in the number 50. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. So It's really pretty and it kind of looks like one of those Mark ones that I got rid of, so I will be keeping this as well. Then I have another Rimmel lipstick in the shade Pink Blush. Very pretty color, so I will be keeping that. This is... Nikak, Nikak lipstick. This is in the shade Daring. I do believe I got this in an Ipsy or BoxyCharm a very, very long time ago, but um, I broke it. So, whoops. Bye bye. Dang. Real sad. Rest in peace, my friend. But you're too old, so I gotta let you go. Staining ever so slightly, but let's continue. I do believe I left off here. This is a CoverGirl lipstick in the shade Rush. I will try to make my swatches a little bit smaller if I can do that. So I love this color. I'll be keeping that. Another CoverGirl lipstick. These were the nude ones. This is in the shade Cream. Super light. One that I will probably use to mix shades with. Um, but I will be keeping that one. Here I have another NYX matte lipstick in the shade Alabama. Very pretty. Very pretty. I will be keeping that one. Then a NYX creamy lipstick in the shade Haute Melon. Super beautiful. Love NYX lipsticks. Keeping that. This is a Butter London lipstick in the shade Strawberry Field. Cute name. Ooh, yikes. Broke you, girlfriend. Sorry, you're old. Real sad. Getting rid of her. This is another creamy lipstick by NYX in the shade Narcissus. Real fun. I was just watching Hercules with my children the other day and he was brought up. Very beautiful color. I will be keeping that. This is a tiny little baby lipstick in the shade Deeply in Mauve by Noya, I believe is um, the name of this brand. Um, I think I got it in an Ipsy. It's a tiny little lipstick. And I think I'll keep that. It's watching good, it's smelling good. It's pretty color.
Okay, let's get these things out of the way. These are the Mark All Butter now, so similar to the Butter Lipsticks by NYX, but these are from Mark. Very, very pretty shade. This is called Pop Tart. Keeping that. These components are gorgeous, by the way. They're kind of hard to pick up on camera. And this one is in the shade Coralini Coral. Beautiful. I need to be getting more use out of these. And this one is in the shade Baby Me. Which I will be keeping that one as well. Oh, here is one more. Would you look at that? This is in the shade Bare All. Keeping that one for sure. Okay, I just got this one in a BoxyCharm. This is the Bite Beauty Amuse Boost lipstick in the shade Spritzer. This is absolutely gorgeous. Love that color. Keeping that. This is a Model Co. lipstick in the shade Smitten. That one is pretty. I will be keeping that. This is an e.l.f. moisturizing lipstick in the shade Ravishing Rose. I will be keeping that one. Let's get these creamy lipsticks from NYX out of the way. This one is in the shade Hot Pink. Need to get some more use out of that. That's a gorgeous color. Looks like Candy Yum Yum. And then this one is in the shade Chic Red. That's beautiful. Keeping you. Get a couple more NYX's out of the way. I think that's it. Oh no, look at these. So first one is the NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade Explosive. Loved this one, as you can kind of tell. Used quite a bit of it. It's just a beautiful nude color. And this formula of the Butter Lipsticks are gorgeous. Keeping you, this is in the shade Harmonica. This is a creamy lipstick. Super, super pale. Um, I'm gonna keep you. Just, you know, I'm just gonna keep you. Another creamy lipstick in the shade Strawberry Milk. Ooh, I like that color. I'm gonna be keeping you. And this is a NYX matte lipstick. In the shade Butter, lots of, oh, I have one of these already, but I'm going to keep it just because I like it. Keeping you. What is this? This, this is from Beauty Control. Um, this is in the shade Mona Lisa. Mm, I'm not even sure how I acquired this lipstick, but it's pretty, so I'm gonna keep it. Beauty Control is the brand. I'm not sure if they're still a brand or what's going on there. Um, here's a couple of Wet n Wild lipsticks. This one, the name has fallen off, so I'm not sure what that name is. But there is a swatch and it's really pretty, so I'm gonna keep you. And then this one is in the shade Mauve Out of Here. Ooh, this is one of my favorite colors ever. So I will be keeping you. Okay, next I have another Star Wars lipstick and this is in the number 40. Crazy gold, ooh, shade. Pretty much just straight shimmer. I will be keeping that. Couple more CoverGirl lipsticks. This is in the shade Smoky. Super unique brown shimmery shade. I will be keeping, but I need to play with that. So I'm gonna keep it up here. And then this is in the shade Enchant. 
which is very pretty as well, and I'll be keeping that one. Then I have a Urban Decay Vice matte lipstick in the shade Notorious, which is absolutely beautiful as well. Oh my gosh, love that. Such a beautiful component too, love that. And then another matte, I'm sorry, Mark mm, Lip Click in the shade Gem. See if this one swatches okay, and it does, it's beautiful. I will be keeping you. Woohoo! Okay, I'm gonna push these back, get those out of the way, and move on to this mess. This is a Maybelline lip color palette. I have not used it much, but I will be keeping it. Um, I should play around more with it, especially with these nude shades. Very pretty. I'll be keeping you. Then I have a then I have a Maybelline matte lipstick. This is a color sensational. This is in the shade Lust for Blush. Really beautiful shade. I absolutely love these shades, so I will be keeping that. Another color sensational matte lipstick in the shade Blushing Pout. Just kind of a lighter, less berryish color. So I'll be keeping you. This is an Avon lipstick in the shade Pure Orchard. These were the Ultra Color Absolute lipsticks, which means that they were kind of more moisturizing. This is a color here. Again, it was in Pure Orchard, and I will be keeping you. Another Avon. This is just one of their regular lipsticks in the shade Pure Pink. That's the color there, very pretty. I will be keeping you. This is a MAC Velvet Teddy lipstick, which I am most definitely keeping. I love Velvet Teddy, keeping you. Another Vice lipstick in the shade Cruise, which is gorgeous. It has a little bit of something else on it, so we'll get that wiped away and then give this a real swatch. So there is Cruise, super beautiful, I'll be keeping. This is another Kat Von D studded lipstick in the shade Wonder Child. Oops, my bone was messing that swatch up. But I'm keeping this one. Another Kat Von D studded lipstick in the shade Slayer. Black, very beautiful. We'll be keeping you. Um, another Kat Von D in the shade Piaf, I believe is how you say that. Ooh, that's beautiful. We'll be keeping you. Do you see the little purple shimmers in there? Keeping. This is a MAC limited edition in the shade CC Me. This is a satin lipstick, super gorgeous. We'll be keeping that. This is a Lorac Brunch. Oh, I guess this was Alter Ego Collection in Brunch Queen. Super beautiful. Love these, ma I mean, uh, lavendery. I love these purpley shades. So I'll be keeping that. Another Alter Ego lipstick in the shade Pastry Chef. Really pretty pink, we'll be keeping that. Then I have some more Too Faced Peach Lipsticks. This one is in the shade Butterfly. Another purple for you guys. Beautiful. Very pretty color, keeping you. This one's in the shade Dollface. Ooh, that's pretty. Love that. Keeping that. And this one is in the shade Make Me Blush, which is absolutely beautiful. Love that. Keeping that. Then I have a little tiny Makeup Forever lipstick in the shade N9, 
which I have used a little bit of, but it's pretty old. I got it in probably an Ipsy a long time ago, but it is still looking good. I will keep that. Another creamy NYX lipstick in the shade Snow White. I remember using this quite a bit. Really beautiful red. Love that shade. Keeping you. This is a mini size studded lipstick in the shade Lovecraft. Lovecraft. Which is gorgeous. Keeping that. What are these? These are Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks. This is in the shade Buff. These are matte lipsticks, which that is beautiful. I am keeping that. Keeping that, whoops. And then another Anastasia lipstick in the shade Griffin, which is super unique. Keeping that. This is a Stila, what are you called? A Color Balm Lipstick in Savannah. This is really pretty. Very pretty, I will be keeping you. And then I have three more MAC lipsticks in here. This one is called Playing Koi. It's got a little bit of somebody else on there, so I'll get that off. And then swatch it for you. There you are. Lovely bone swatch. Sorry if I am not in focus this whole entire video. That would be horrific. Keeping playing Koi. This one is in the shade Without Your Love. This is a cream stick. Uh, sorry, a cream machine lipstick. This was from the Ellie Golding collection. I'm just going to put you right there. And this is super beautiful. I am actually going to keep this out and do a look with that. And then this is the Viva Glam Ariana Grande 2. Very beautiful. Put that right there on my palm. Beautiful. Love that. That is it for this drawer. And my friends, all that I have left on the way of lipsticks, like classic lipsticks, are all of my Avon lipsticks. This is terrifying how many Avon lipsticks I have, but I am a Avon consultant, so I have millions of them. And I'm just going to swatch these but I'm going to fast forward the footage for you so you don't have to listen to me ramble for that long. So I'm just gonna get to swatching and show you at the end which ones I'm getting rid of. I am keeping these, these are the new holiday collection though. I'll swatch those first for you.
of these ones back here are not Avon, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch those for you now. Okay, so we have some super old color work. What are these called? These are from the Color Works line, and these are super old. Um, I'm, I don't know if I'm even gonna swatch these for you guys. Uh oh, I think I'm just gonna get rid of them. They are super cheap. Probably got these at like a garage sale or something dumb like that when I was like literally a little kid. So I'm going to get rid of all of these. These are some older Wet n Wild lipsticks. There's another Color Works that I'm getting rid of. So here are these Wet n Wild lipsticks. Let's swatch them and see if they're any good. Yeah. They look good and they still smell sweet, so I will probably keep those. Oh, that one was in the shade Breeze. This one's in the shade Blushing Bali. So these are really pretty, and I'll be keeping that one as well. This one is in the shade Sunset Peach. So really pretty as well, I'll be keeping that. Then I have some very old Mary Kay lipsticks. Um, this is in the shade Cantaloupe. And I'm going to get rid of this. Um, they just aren't smelling the greatest. This one was in the shade Caramel. They still swatch good, but they smell like old Play-Doh, so I'm gonna get rid of those. This is an old L'Oreal lipstick in the shade Precious Plum. And the same thing, this one smells like old Play-Doh and it does not swatch good. I'm gonna get rid of this. Okay, um, I'm not even sure. I think this was a cover, yeah, a cover girl. You can barely see on there that that's got a CG on it. This was in the shade Ice Blue Pink, which is pretty fitting. That's kind of how it looks right there. This one still smells okay, so I think I'm going to keep this. These, what are you? Okay, so these three are old Revlon lipsticks. This is in the shade Virtual Violet. Yeah, this one smells old. I really like that color, but old Play-Doh. I gotta get rid of you, sorry. This is in the shade Raven Red. Really pretty, but I'm gonna get rid of you because I don't even know how old you are. And then you, this one is in the shade Strawberry Ice. Really, really pretty again, but just smell like old lipstick. Getting rid of those. I was gonna keep that one, I think. And then this is a Lancome lipstick in the shade Amande Sucre, I guess. I don't know if that's how you say it. But, yikes. Oh yeah, super old Play-Doh. Gonna get rid of you, yucky ducky. Okay, I'm gonna finish putting these back in here and then I will get back to you and show you what I am getting rid of. Okay, everybody. So these are all of the lipsticks that I'm getting rid of. I am really proud of myself. I do not need to have these gross old lipsticks in my collection, I'm obviously not using them. So I'm glad to be getting rid of them. If you guys enjoyed this declutter, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.